Hi, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I'm going to talk about a camera obscura. Have you ever been to one? So a camera obscura is a room, or maybe it's built into a room. I heard there's one in Santa Monica if you're in California, but it's a blackened space with a lens outside shining an image inside. And I think it was originally created through a pinhole. Somebody had a pinhole in a, land, in, a, in a wall of their house and the room was darkened and when that pinhole of light came into their room on the opposite wall of the pinhole they could see traffic moving down in the distance on the wall. They could see an image, a moving image, on the wall. And it was upside down just like a view camera would invert the image and they were fascinated and people would come to places that were camera obscuras back in the early 1900s as like an attraction, like going to a, a circus or any kind of a event that you could say, hey, let's all go see and check that out. That'll be fun. And a local guy built one out of a bunch of black plastic and some two by fours and a 12 inch lens that he said he got off of something, I think like an Edmund Scientific kind of a store. And he actually put a mirror in so that it would shine outside of this tent and I'll have a picture of it I took some photographs of him he had a uh, so that the lens was actually show uh, sh shooting at a 90 degrees off the top of the tent and then a mirror was deflecting it back into where we were and all we had to do was hold a white piece of foam core and look down and as we moved it up or down it would come in or out of focus and we could see the town outside on this board being brought in through that lens. And it's called a camera obscura and I had never been to one. I've actually heard of those and I've never actually seen one. So if you get a chance ever and you have a chance to get inside one, it's kind of cool. And I guess it was said that people would get freaked out because they would see people walking and driving right outside, inside on this piece of paper. And it was almost like too weird to be able to be spying on them and they felt like they were voyeuristic. And that's the beauty of what you know image, images can do when they're brought in through a pinhole or through a lens and it's photography was how can we create a, a sensitive medium light sensitive medium to capture that and that's what film is that's what a digital sensor is but the whole point was how can we get an image and that's the first time they ever saw an image and it was a big revelation that you know there's a way to put an image onto a piece of material like that piece of foam core. So I have a picture and it was interesting because I went to the event that he was showing this and set it all up and I brought a Rolleiflex with a 75 millimeter planar lens and I photographed him with that figuring if he's bringing a setup for an old camera obscura I should photograph him with a Rolleiflex. So I did and I'll put some of those photographs in the links below too. So it's it was a treat. It was a fun event to go to. It was just down the street at the local museum and he calls it the Mighty Mighty Camera Obscura. And it was a, a interesting experience if you ever get a chance to. It's almost like watching the eclipse. The eclipse is happening this year, August 21st. Everybody's crazy excited. A camera obscura was that kind of excitement back in the day. All right, that's today's photography talk. Have you ever been to a camera obscura? I'd love to see hear your comments below. If you can Subscribe, please do, and if you can support, I always appreciate that. Thank you so much. We'll talk soon.